Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Nathan. Just want to say uh, good afternoon to everyone to both the East and West Coast. Hope you guys are enjoying your day today on Sunday. Hope you guys are having a good weekend. And for this video, I'm going to be talking more about San Diego Comic Con and two uh, new pieces of information that um, have been shown. And uh, let's get right into it. So on comicbookmovie.com, uh, there are two of them. So both of them from comicbookmovie.com. The first one is from Marky Mark of today of July 27, 2014. And it says, We've caught a glimpse of this yesterday, but now a much more photo has been taken of what appears to be the first body that the villain's Ultron, played by the Blacklist James Spader, builds for himself in Avengers Age of Ultron. Hit the jump and check it out. Hank Pym not being Ultron's creator in Avengers Age of Ultron is one major change, but now it seems like we should expect another. Based on the footage description for the movie, which you can read by clicking here, it sounds as if Tony Stark will be responsible for only for the creation of the Ultron AI, and not his first physical form. What you see below appears to be the first crude body that the villain builds for himself when he attacks Earth's Mightiest Heroes for the first time in Avengers A Tower. Talk about a Frankenstein feel, eh? What do you guys think? Okay, so looking at this, it looks um, it looks very good. It looks amazing. Um, we see that the helmet looks, you know, a little, little bit, a little bit ripped, and it has that uh, Ultron look with gold and black in the back as well. And we also see, um, uh, you know, just a lot of stuff that looks really amazing. Uh, that that link will be in the description below, so you guys check it out. But all in all, that looks amazing right there. Um, and, and we'll probably see that in the movie Avengers Age of Ultron. So see that. And next one, same thing for Avengers Age of Ultron, but this time it has to do with something different. Judging by the lay, latest Age of Ultron prop put on, on display at Comic Con, the indestructible vibranium made up of Cap's mighty shield will collide with something or someone much stronger. Check it out. And uh, what we have here is Cap Shield, which is broken. Now, for those of you that don't know in the comments, in the comics, uh, Cap, we have seen Cap Shield broken many times before. And the one I remember the most was when Marvel did the Affinity Gauntlet storyline. I think it was in the 80s or 90s, but I saw it in digital. Um, that Thanos was the one that destroy Cap Shield. And even though we know that Thanos will be in this movie, I probably think either Thanos or Ultron breaks the shield. And the question is, once they're smoking, what's gonna happen next? Well, here's the thing. Um they need well Cap needs to get more vibranium to make to make a new shield and there's only one place to go and that is Wakanda, which is the home of the Black Panther T'Challa. So, um, very interesting. I, I, I like the uh, look of the shield and how it's broken. And um, all in all, I think this Comic-Con was very good. Uh, there were some letdowns from both Marvel and DC, but I think both sides wanted to say more stuff um, for the future, not to, real, not to reveal all the cards right now, because it would get more people talking and more waiting and stuff. But uh, tell me in the comments below, guys, what do you think about all this? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Are you, are you in the middle? Are you neutral about it? And if so, tell me below in the comments. Also, tell me which side won the war in Comic-Con, Marvel DC. But don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This is Nathan saying peace. Take care, guys. And I'll see you guys later for the next video or see you tomorrow. Take care, guys. Bye.